enough. A kangaroo for me. Boing, boing, Making stuffed boing, toys was her new boing, hobby. Boing, boing. Yep, he's bouncy enough. Good. Now, what should we make for Josh? How about a rhinoceros? Just then, Josh and Grandpa came in. We've been playing in the meadow. Have you seen the time the children are due at the boomerang? <gasps> Sorry, got a bit carried away. We must go right now. Anyone seen the keys to Campo? Call Kangaroo, Elsie. Take it to show Bob. It will remind him of home. I knew he'd love the kangaroo, because it's an Australian animal. <laughs> <laughs> and today was the day for an Aussie afternoon with Bob. I found the keys. I'll get Campo started. Josh, Elsie, I'll see you outside. What's wrong, Elsie? Don't you want to go? I do, but I'm shy. I want you to come, Grandpa. Oh, I'd love to, but I'm not invited. I'm inviting you. You'll be OK, Elsie. I'm coming along with you. Bob will think we're really babyish if Grandpa comes along. Not if he doesn't know I'm there. Why did I come along for a while, just to settle you in? Yes! No, it's too risky. I'll be careful, and I won't stay all afternoon. Not the shrinking cat, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! When Grandpa shrinks, he runs about all over the place. He zooms around and chases the car, and he even gets into my helicopter and flies. But today, he was going to ride in my backpack. I've been sitting in Campo for ages. Sorry, we're ready now. I see Grandpa's gone for a little lie down. I expect he's glad he won't be running around a boat all afternoon. Come on, let's go. So off we went to Campo to fight. Me, Auntie Jules, Elsie and Grandpa. And Auntie Jules said... Do you know why Bob's boat is called the Boomerang? And Josh said... Because when it goes out to sea, it always comes back. When we got to the Boomerang, we couldn't see Bob on deck. So we guessed he must be down below. Sorry, we're a bit late. No worries. Gave me more time to make our tucker. Tucker? It's Australian for food. I went out fishing this morning, caught a load of fresh prawns. Even took the shells off for you. See? Oh, they really smell. <laughs> it all looks fantastic. Do you mind if I pop out for a bit? I'm making a rhinoceros and I've run out of stuffing. Yeah, sure. Elsie, show Bob who's hiding in your backpack. For a moment, I thought Auntie Jules had guessed. But then... Oh, I know who she means. Of course, she wasn't talking about Grandpa. She was talking about Elsie's kangaroo. Oh, you can't get more Australian than a roo. Boing. 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 While we were all playing Boing. with the kangaroo, Boing. Grandpa jumped out of the backpack and looked for somewhere to hide. And he found a good place, behind the musical boat. Tucker time! <laughs> Come on, dig in! <laughs> so, while we dug into our tucker, Grandpa relaxed. And the relaxing turned into a nap. And the nap turned into a proper sleep. But we didn't know, because we were eating Bob's Aussie Tucker. <laughs> Aussie Tucker's the best. It must be fun to live in Australia. Oh, yeah, Australia's great. 
We've got so many great beaches and like there's some really cool animals as well. Do you miss home, Bob? Well, sometimes. But then I just play an Aussie song and it cheers me up again. I've never heard an Aussie song. Oh, hang on. I'll play you my favourite on my musical boat. Of course! Grandpa was hiding behind the musical boat. I had to do something. I'll get it! Grandpa, wake up. Sorry, but who wants this? What? Eh? Oh, oh, it's you, Josh. Is Elsie all right? Can I fly home now? Yeah, she's cool. But we didn't bring anything for you to fly home on. Oh, no, we didn't. That was silly of me. Bother. There was no choice. <sighs> Grandpa had to wait for us, which meant he had to find another place to hide. I've wound the little beauty up. Let's hear her play. But the little beauty didn't play. Oh, no. Something's broken inside. Ah. I'll take a good look at her later. Righto. What other Aussie thing can I show you? Oh, I know. My lucky Aussie dollar. What's an Aussie dollar? It's Australian money. But the Aussie dollar had gone. I'm sure I had it this morning when I went out fishing for those prawns. Make sure he doesn't find Grandpa. I've got to know about him. Got to be here somewhere. I know. We can turn into a game. Hunt the lucky Aussie dollar. This could be tricky. While we all started to hunt for the Aussie dollar, Grandpa did his best to keep out of the way. No, it's not here. I've looked. OK. Oh. Oh, oh, maybe it's over here. Bob, Bob, is it there on the floor? Where? Show me. This was not good. Soon, Bob was going to see Grandpa. Grandpa. I had to do something. So, I dropped him into this funny long pipe thing. Oh. He was safe. Bad news, guys. I lost my lucky Aussie dollar. Oh, no wonder my musical boat's broken. I've run out of luck. I think we should stop looking. The dollar will probably just turn up. I hope so. Still, we mustn't get on a downer. Let's do something else, Ozzy, to take our mind off it. Maybe you could play us your didgeridoo. Oh, yeah, Ripper. What's a diddly do? Didgeridoo. It's an Aboriginal instrument. Yeah, it looks like a funny long pipe. Yeah, where did I put it? Oh. That was where I'd put Grandpa. Bob started to blow down the didgeridoo. That's odd. I can't get a sound out of it. Ah, looks like there's a thingy-majig stuck in the middle. And I knew what the thingy-majig was. Hmm. Can't make out what it is exactly. Poor Grandpa was stuck in the didgeridoo. Josh, you pass me that fishing net. I'm going to try to poke the thingy-majig out. No, don't do that. You might hurt it. You think the thingy-majig might be alive? I'll tell you what, I'll take a real deep breath and see if I can blow whatever it is out. Bob took a really deep breath, then he blew as hard as he could, and this happened. <laughs> Grandpa shot out of the end and landed in the bucket of smelly prawn shells. But he was safe. All that didgeridoo's made me feel really dizzy. Why don't you go up on deck and get some fresh air? Yeah, good idea. My head's spinning. The minute Bob left, I picked Grandpa out of the bucket and put him on the table. He smelled terrible. Wow, Grandpa, you're all prawny. Never mind about that. I know where Bob's lucky Aussie dollar is, at the bottom of the bowl. I'll get it. I fished Bob's lucky dollar out of the prawn shells. I think we should go now before there's any more trouble. There's just one little job I want to do first. Won't take me long. Grandpa went to the musical boat and Josh went to tell Bob the good news. Soon, Bob was back below deck and he was really pleased to have his lucky Aussie dollar back. How come you found in the bucket of prawn shells? It was the only place we hadn't looked. Oh, we ought to celebrate. 
Oh, if only my musical boat wasn't broken, we could have a good old Aussie sing-song. But of course, we knew the musical boat wasn't broken, thanks to Grandpa. Maybe you should give the boat another chance. Now that you're feeling lucky, it might work. Well, you never know. Oh, let's try. And while Bob wound up the boat, Grandpa found another hiding place. Oh, it works! My luck's come back! Oh, I'll sing Matilda, oh, I'll sing Matilda You'll come a oh, will sing Matilda with me And he, and he sang, sang as, as he watched, watched And waited, waited till, till his till belly boiled boil. You'll, You'll come, come a oh, will sing, sing Matilda, Matilda with, with me Hey, I'll see, your kangaroo can sing Of course it wasn't the kangaroo It was Grandpa he just couldn't stop himself. Yeah. <laughs> when our Aussie afternoon was over, Auntie Jules brought us back home in Campo. I let Grandpa out of my backpack. Oh, quick! Oh, well, that turned out to be quite an Aussie adventure. I'm glad you came along. You found the lucky dollar and you fixed the musical boat. But I couldn't have done it unless you two had kept me from being seen. Teamwork, eh? Hmm? <laughs> oh, Grandpa, you're up and about. I got the stuffing for the rhinoceros. Look. Oh. <laughs> oh, I think you need a shower. You smell like a prawn. 